Tommy, so we spoke on Saturday after the game that this would be, you know, a, a good test against the side in the division below. And, and, and how do you think we've come out of it tonight? Yeah, I think I think we should be given a lot of praise for the way we've reacted to a lot of adversity. Um, but I was really, I was really pleased with the way we moved the ball around um, on a difficult surface first off because it was dry and long. Um, same for both sides. We made an error in the middle of the park and they punished us. Good finish, to be fair. Um, but I think it's, it's it's something we know we can work and coach um, the players to understand that you know if we make a mistake in the middle of the pitch, we can't just open up and let them run through the middle of us, which is what we did. So. I was really pleased with the way we reacted to the situation just after half time and for us, in all fairness to our lads, I thought the fitness levels of everybody who stayed on the pitch for longer probably than we would have normally had because we had a plan to take Loren off and, and put uh, Kwame on a little a straight swap and we couldn't do that so it made it a little more difficult for the, for the lads but I thought they responded really really well. Like I said, it was more like a real game, um, just a little bit disappointed with, with some of the decisions that, that, were, that were given. We've seen you use Maxwell Mullins at, at the heart of the defence there in the centre of the three. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you've just been, been trying to see from him? Because I know he's not really played that role before, has he? Well, he's not played any role yet, has he? <laughs> so from that point of view, I think what it is, is it's, it's an indication of how confident I've been in what he's shown me mm. to be able to play in our group. I mean, the lad is a, a really good athlete. He's quick um, and he's game, he's honest. And, and to be fair, he's got composure as well. So listen, I, I'm not just looking at him in that position. In, in training, we look at him at different areas, but at this moment in time, I think it's an area we need something different to what we've got on either side of him. And he's certainly that. Um, young George has come, come into the group as well. And I think there's, there's more than held his own as well. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's this is a period for me, this is a training session. Um, Cain was taken off at half time as a precaution rather than an injury, so I think we've got through again with anything without anything to really be majorly concerned about. And if everybody does the right things after the game, then we should be good to go again on Saturday. Well, speaking about um, injuries, there we, obviously we haven't seen Ryan Glover tonight. We haven't seen yeah. Hadi Gandor or Zane Walker. Are they just cautionary knocks? Hadi's got a little bit of an issue with his hamstring, so he's going to be a couple of weeks, I think. Um, Zane took a hell of a, a whack towards the end of the game at uh, Tottenham on Saturday. His is more precautionary, it's just a swelling in an ankle, he's fine. I uh, imagine he'll train again Thursday. And Ryan's, we think, is just a bit of tightness. Um, so again, it was precautionary that he didn't play, but we don't view the, the second two lads as being injured as such. It's more, we're just looking after their looking after them really um, so I expect them both to train on Thursday with a view to playing on Saturday I'll be involved so. and obviously now we move back to the Ebb Stadium don't we with some real tests against some very good sides yeah I mean I think we've probably been the favourite in the three games we've played um, or four games we've played um, and you have to say you know we're playing against an EFL side they were a very very good side you know great coach um, I've seen his other team I've seen him play his teams play not before you got to Wickham as well as, as now and he was a great player himself so look I wouldn't expect a tough a tough ask but this is what we do pre-season for it's a different kind of test for us I expect them to be you know dominant in certain terms of the, the game which we haven't really had I don't think we've been dominated by anybody yet we've conceded a goal or two that I might be a little disappointed with but you've got to get rid of that disappointment I said to the lads at half time I think it's been inherent at this football club if there's a disappointment it's been shown too readily by everybody whatever it is you know um and i'm not going to have that at the players the culture change in the dressing room is massive um and in the week of the open it's quite apt you know if if you know one of the top boys misses a six inch put he doesn't walk onto the next day and knock that out of bounds he has got to concentrate and put that that, that mistake right quickly and, and that's what i want i want a, a policing of the, the group from on the pitch to get us get our heads up straight away you know we got some really hard work and honest lads um and i thought we rewarded second half for, you know winning the second half with, with 10 men was was excellent click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe are you in with a shot look below for more information